Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. First things first, before we even get the ball rolling, I'm trying out a new like recording setup this week. And so I'm honestly not sure if this is going to be better or worse. Uh, as far as image quality, as far as like the realistic effect that a lot of cameras are doing these days where it almost feels like I'm in the room with you because the image is so sharp. Um, the audio even might sound different. It might sound better. It might sound worse. Like I said, I honestly don't know. Um, so I'm going to record this whole episode on this new setup and we will find out together. <laughs> If this is, it's certainly going to be different. I'm expecting it to be different, but we'll find out together in what ways is it better, in what ways is it worse, or is it basically the same thing? And if that's the case, then it's just going to be a matter of like, what's easier to use, I guess. Oh, here comes the kiddo. It's Thursday, uh, which means it's hell day. And we're off to an okay start. Everybody slept well, so that's good. And my to-do list today is super, super light by design because most of the day is gonna be therapy. So really the only thing that I wanna make sure to do today is I need to edit tomorrow's video because it's a collab. So I can't like just decide to release it some other time. It has to come out tomorrow. And so it's basically done. Like I've edited the whole video. I've pieced together the pieces I wanna to piece together, etc. but it's a recipe. And so I'm still missing the voiceover part. All right, I honestly don't know what I was talking about <laughs> because that turned into like three other missions. Um, also, my son came and put a book down on the table that I'm using to put the camera. So the angle might be different now, but um, it's Thursday. We have three therapies and I'm gonna edit that video, do the voiceover, which is all that's missing. Um, I already edited the last episode, which obviously you guys have already seen, I'm assuming. I'll put it up here in case of anything. But um, yeah, for me, it's not meant to come out for two days. And so I already edited it. So I'm ahead of the ball as far as that's concerned. So what is there to talk about? I feel fine. By the way, I hadn't like mentioned it because I was waiting for it to like really be like true, you know, like for it to really take hold before I even said anything. But um, I feel like the breathlessness when I talk is at like a normal, healthy human level. <laughs> I'm no longer feeling like, <gasps> like my lungs are seizing up when I try to talk, which is excellent. And the chest pain is pretty much gone, like completely. Um, I had a little tiny bit of chest pain last night when I was laying down, but it could have just been indigestion. So we're gonna call that one an outlier because before that, I honestly couldn't tell you the last time I had a chest pain. So I'm feeling pretty much back to normal. That being said, I am still going to follow up with cardio. It behooves me to do so because of that wonky blood work from the hospital. And so I am more and more confident with each passing day that they're not going to find anything worth worrying about. But with that being said, it doesn't make sense to not make absolute sure at this point, especially when that seems to be the consensus with all of the doctors that I've talked to in the last like month or so. So, um, yeah, so that will be in this episode. So I'll be letting you guys know what the cardio said. I'm certain that it's basically just going to be like, uh, hi, nice to meet you. I've looked at your records. And based on this, I've determined you need this many tests or these kinds of tests. So let's schedule those because it's going to be a telehealth visit. I'm not sure how much he can, he can't, <laughs> he can't do anything with me. Um, in a telehealth besides just like talk. So that's fine though. We're gonna get the ball rolling on that. Probably gonna have to wait months before the actual testing gets done, but c'est la vie. So yeah, I think I've talked enough as far as like an intro. So I'll do my best to pop back in again later. And in the meantime, happy Thursday. A little bit of an update on Hell Day. 
our first therapy canceled, so that helped. That extra 45 minutes actually made a huge difference in my day because I was able to do everything on my to-do list before this last therapy, which I did not expect would happen. So it's crazy what a small change like that, the difference that it can make. I kind of wanted to fill you guys in on some other stuff that's going on too that I've not really been talking about much, but it's happening and so um, it's probably, not only has it been on my mind, but it's probably one of the biggest factors as far as this whole anxiety situation that I've been dealing with lately. My grandma's been in the hospital for a week now. Um, she had a feeding tube put in today and just generally the situation is not great. It's not hopeless, but it's certainly not great. Um, that being said, something related but kind of not or mostly not my parents invited us over for a pool party this weekend pool party like it's just us it's not like a party it's not like a bunch of people are going or anything just us to come over to swim um and i don't love the idea of it just because they're in and out of the hospital understandably with my grandmother and so my dad's tested negative um, he actually showed me the negative test. He sent it, he texted it to me right before saying, hey, I'd really like for you guys to come over this weekend so we could do this. So he's really putting forth the effort to try to um, tamp down my concerns, right? Which I fully appreciate. And my mom and my, um, my mom and my brother are going to be testing as well before we go. But that being said, my, my dad tested negative yesterday, right? He's at the hospital today. He'll likely be at the hospital tomorrow, et cetera, et cetera. And again, I do not expect him not to be. That's where he should be. That's what makes sense considering. Um, but my point being that just because he tested negative yesterday doesn't mean that he's not being potentially exposed today or tomorrow or whatever. Um, but then again, my husband works with him as I've mentioned before. And so I'm not sure to what degree they're spending time together at the office. If my dad's maybe like avoiding being there when my husband's there or what, you know, I'm not sure. I honestly don't know. I guess I'd have to talk to my husband about that. But I guess the way I'm looking at it is the risk is already being taken, right? If my dad and my husband are spending any time together at all at the office, then my husband's already potentially being exposed to whatever regardless of what I do or not. And I know that my son would absolutely love to go to his grandparents' house. And more importantly, even than that, I know that it would do my dad so much good to spend time with my son and have just a little sliver, a little taste of normal for like a second because he's been He's been non-stop stressed for years, but I know that these last couple of months have been extremely hard on him. And so the way I'm looking at it or the way I'm trying to look at it is the risk is being taken either way. And so considering that we might as well reap a little benefit. It's no more dangerous to go or not go because we're still being exposed the same amount. So considering that we might as well go and then reap all of these lovely mental health benefits for all involved of just us being able to get together for an afternoon and just enjoy each other's company and you know is this the smartest thing i honestly don't know but like i said considering that i feel we're probably getting an equal amount of it or just not an equal amount but we're getting exposed one way or the other we might as well take out of the situation what we're already paying into it if that makes sense i'm sure there's a more clever way to phrase that but in any case we're late to therapy just wanted to pop in and let you guys know what was going on so I'm gonna taste the space it's red it is red quite red <laughs> quite red It doesn't taste like Coke at all. No, at all. But it's nice. It has a nice bite to it. It tastes... 
it tastes like it wants to be country club frambuesa, but it's not fruity enough for that. Mm -hmm. It's like if they mix frambuesa and the maybe merengue that's why flavor. I, maybe that's why I like it. It but tastes you're like right, country actually. club. Yeah, it tastes like country club, but it tastes like a, a less sweet mixture of frambuesa and merengue. It's not bad yeah, at all. I, I, could, I like it. I could see that. I like it. It's not awful. Yeah. I thought it was going to be terrible. I saw reviews online that were saying that it was just like sweet and it doesn't taste like anything but sweet, but I don't think so. I mean, it is kind of um, a little on the sweet side for me. It is sweet. You know what it is, is that it's not, it doesn't feel bubbly enough. It feels less bubbly than regular Coke. And it doesn't, I, I thought it was going to taste like Coke and, you know what I mean? Like how cherry Coke tastes like Coke and cherry. Or, or orange Coke. It doesn't taste like Coke at all. Bless you, buddy. Bless you. That's interesting. I would drink it again. I was worried I wasn't gonna like it, but I would drink it again. Hey friends, happy Friday. I'm up earlier than I'd like. Um, hubby dropped something, like a bottle or something, I think, in the bathroom. And it woke me up and, you know, whatever, stuff happens. <laughs> Um, it's fine. It's only like an hour and a half earlier. Anyway, it's Friday, which is good because we only have the one therapy scheduled and there's a lot that I have to do today. Um, I have to, I'm actually not even sure if that's true. <laughs> For sure, I want to record my planner video today, but I need to print and cut stickers first because... I haven't quite decided on the stickers I want to use for March. I'm trying to just do like a springtime theme, but I don't know what I already own. I've been buying stickers for my planner for like four or five years now. And a lot of the times they come with like wonky file names and I don't take the time in real time to fix that. And so here I am. Um, so I have to choose stickers, print them, cut them, record my planner video. I want to record an intro and outro to another video. And I'm seeing my cardiologist or the cardiologist this morning. I'm not expecting like a whole lot of anything to come from this appointment really, except for hopefully we will schedule the tests or at the very least he will say I agree that you need these tests I will have someone reach out to you to schedule them so as long as that happens then we're on the right track um, I also wanted to address something because I was talking about it with my husband last night and I'm not sure how to put it exactly I guess we had a difference of opinion but trust me I feel bad enough about this. I feel embarrassed even talking about it, but it just is what it is. And I'm gonna preface it by saying, I know that this is a position of extreme, extreme privilege. And that's why I feel so gross even saying it out loud. But um, it's kind of like the elephant in the room, right? It's what's on everybody's mind. And yet I haven't talked about it on this vlog that originally began as a way of talking about current events and the way that they're affecting us or affecting me personally, I suppose, because it's my vlog. But this situation with Russia and Ukraine, I am keeping up as far as like the headlines. You know what I mean? Like I know what is happening on the surface. And I understand why the conflict is happening, etc. But I have been avoiding actually watching the news, actually watching footage from the scene, um, because I can't mentally handle that right now. And if there's one thing that every therapist I've ever talked to has told me, um, which I've always had a very hard time embracing and taking on 
is that I worry about things that I can't change and that's not good for me. And so if I know for a fact that I can't change it, I shouldn't put myself in a position to worry about it. And even that sounds so gross to say out loud because it's such a super, super privileged thing to be able to say, no, I don't want to think about the horrible things that are happening in the world right now because I just can't handle it. But, um, you know, he, he was, he came home and he's like, have you seen the footage? These kids are so scared and these parents are just, I can't even say it. I can't even say it. And I had to tell him to stop. It's like, no, I haven't seen it. I'm actually really actively trying to avoid thinking about exactly that because that's where my mind goes and I, I can't do anything about it. And so I don't want to think about it. And he was like, oh, no, I mean, I get that. It's just, you know, it's on my mind. And so I was hoping to be able to talk to you about it to kind of get it out. And I totally get that. And I felt so bad that I couldn't support him in that way. But it's like, I can't even support myself in that way right now. So he understood it. You know, the conversation stopped. But that felt so gross to me to be like, sorry, hubby, you're on your own. I can't handle that right now. Um, so I'm struggling and this again feels so myopic and so self-centered to even say this out loud but I'm struggling a little bit with the fact that I'm not allowing myself to really like dive into the topic I suppose even just not even on the vlog but just in life but it's one thing that I can do right now to kind of shield and protect myself because I honestly don't know what more I can stuff into my head so I'm doing it so that I feel like that makes me a really just ugh person but it is what it is so I guess I'm inviting dialogue on it which is also probably not a great idea for me but again it is what it is so now that we've started the day like this, yeah, I'm gonna finish my tea, get dressed, make breakfast for everybody, and get ready for my appointment because it's in about an hour. So we'll see. Maybe we even get finished before kiddo gets out of bed. Happy Friday. <laughs> All right, post cardio update. Um, first of all, I didn't even ever actually get to see the doctor because he was with another patient, which is funny how that works considering we had an appointment. Why are you with another patient? But fine, whatever. Um, it went exactly as I expected. I talked to a nurse and a PA. I told them everything again in, at length, even though they have access to all of the records and everything that happened. Um, they are trying to get a, in touch with the hospital that saw me because Apparently they did not send over the EKG results specifically. And I don't know why they wouldn't. I don't know why they would only send over some of the stuff and not all of it. But the PA said that she's expecting the office to call me by Monday or on Monday to schedule the stress test, echo, etc., All the things that I knew that they were gonna wanna do um, because they have to do like insurance um, approvals first, etc., And they're waiting for the hospital to send them the EKG I did last week or whenever it was. But also, can I go ahead and get an EKG done today, over the weekend, on Monday, and fax it to them? And I was like, um, aren't they gonna do an EKG next week? Because they want me to do this next week. Um, aren't they gonna do an EKG next week when they do this trust test, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, but it would just be a reassurance for us that nothing has changed since you had one done at the hospital. I'm like, okay, well, if it's just a reassurance, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's very unlikely that that's gonna happen. Like if it was necessary, I would figure out a way to make it work. But if it's just as a reassurance, we're a one car family. I have a child that has special needs. Almost on cue, by the way, when I said that, my son ran behind me, pantless. So, um, way to drive the point home, kid. But I was telling her, you know, there's many, many reasons why I can't just drop in somewhere. Not to mention cost. I didn't mention cost, but 
not all of us are super duper insured, babe. I literally can't just go somewhere and be like, hi, just wondering if you guys had a minute to give me an EKG today. So, um, she kind of spent the rest of the appointment insisting how important that was for me to go out of my way to give them that reassurance. And I spent the rest of the appointment kind of being like, it's not happening. You know, kind of that polite, um, passive aggressive back and forth where we were both insisting. But the fact is, is that it's up to me and I can't. Like I can't. If it was necessary, like I said, I would find a way to make it happen. But she made it very clear that it's just as a reassurance you're gonna find out next week anyways when I do the stress test what's going on with the EKG or not. So no, I'm sorry, unfortunately, like it just doesn't make sense. Like I'm not gonna expose myself to another medical environment, um, have to pay, et cetera, et cetera, so that you can have a reassurance. Your reassurance is not worth that much effort to me. So especially since the same exact test is gonna get done next week along with everything else. So that's what's going on right now. Kiddo's in the bath, he already had breakfast, the appointment is handled, um, the wheels are turning so that I can get this appointment done. And again, she said that ideally, this will all happen very quickly and at some point next week, I will actually have these physical tests done um, somewhere in Miami. She's not sure where because as I mentioned in a previous episode, I think, the doctor or the PA that I saw today is actually based in West Palm Beach. And I told her, like, if I must, I will go to your, you know, two hours away to where you are and do the testing there. But she said that they don't even have an echo tech right now. I don't know how hard an echo tech is hard to, you know, how hard they are to come by. But apparently they couldn't give me the testing in office even if they wanted to because the person that would be the one, you know, not doing the test, but administering the test maybe? They, they've not hired one. They don't have one. So, whatever. Now you all know what's going on. Look what the kiddo just got. He's extremely excited, but the drumsticks don't arrive until tomorrow. So, tomorrow, we're going to set this up. Daddy is trying to figure out a place for it right now. Happy Saturday morning, friends. I woke up not feeling my best physical self. Um, I ate rice yesterday and I actually made an ass ton of it um, so that I could eat for the next few days. But I hadn't had rice since the whole diverticulitis situation where they explicitly told me you probably shouldn't eat rice anymore. To be fair, I got a lot of mixed messaging because one of the doctors said, don't eat rice, it could trigger another attack. And then the next guy said, Eh, that's just a myth. You actually need to eat carbs because fiber will help, etc., etc. So I took the chance and I don't know. I don't think it's another flare because the pain is not that intense, but certainly I'm not feeling well and I woke up that way. So I know it's not that like breakfast disagreed with me or anything. So um, that's fun. Hopefully it turns out to be nothing, but it's definitely worth mentioning because it's very much affecting my morning um hubby's almost done building kiddo's drum kit and kiddo is so excited more excited about this than i've seen him excited wait is that english he's more excited about this than i've seen him excited about anything in a while that's better so that's pretty cool and uh yeah i'm gonna edit my planner video today and i'm gonna do I have to look for our swimsuits because we're gonna go to my parents tomorrow for a pool party. Um, my dad just called to ask what we wanted to eat, so he's very excited too. And yeah, let's just kind of see how Saturday goes. So happy Saturday. Happy Sunday! There's so many sounds right now. <laughs> um, it's Sunday at like 11 a.m. and I am dressed in my swimwear. Kiddo's dressed, hubby's dressed. I'm just putting together a snacky to bring for my kiddo. Yeah, you're excited, huh? 
Um, we're gonna go to my parents' house and we're gonna go swimming. So that's very exciting. You can put your shoes. You can do it. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's the plan for today. I found my very, very, very old, I think it's an iPhone 5, um, <laughs> that I keep specifically because, just cut off half my head there, I keep it specifically because it has such a super duper hardcore um, waterproof hey. case on it that it's the only phone or camera I own that I trust to take into the pool and know that it's not gonna get ruined. Because if you've watched my vlogs at all in the past couple of years, you know that I don't trust iPhones to go in the water because they always die. Always. So, baby, you can do this. <laughs> I'm trying to do it with one hand and you're fully capable. Um, so, yeah. So, very excited. Hoping for a good day. Let's see how it goes. Happy Sunday. What are you doing? Oh my Alrighty, pals, it's Sunday night, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up. Um, we had a great time at my parents' house. Everything was delicious. We got in the very cold pool <laughs> for a little bit, um, but we had a lot of fun and it was definitely much needed. So um, kiddo didn't wanna leave. We had to promise him that we were gonna come back really, really soon. He was very happy being there, um, but he, he had a good time and I think that uh, he was satisfied with how it went too because he was happy to be home and he's been very chill the rest of the day so that's awesome. We're just doing like little last minute things tidying around the house and whatnot so that we're ready to begin our week again tomorrow. I've been trying to watch this documentary called Fire Fraud about the fire festival on Hulu all weekend long but like something keeps happening where I keep getting interrupted so I haven't finished it but we did finish by the way Space Force because I didn't mention it we finished all of it and we finished all of Inventing Anna um I have thoughts on it but the thoughts I have are spoilery so if you've seen it and we would like to discuss I guess DM me on Instagram or something so that we don't put spoilers in the comments but I enjoyed it for sure um what else what else what else now we're watching Dave, which is Lil Dicky's show. We're re-watching season one. I think I might have mentioned it already in this video, maybe not. Um, Hubby watched all, no, I said that about Space Force, but it's true of Dave as well. Um, Hubby watched all of season one and really enjoyed it. And season two recently came out, so he said, you should re-watch this with me so that you can get on board and then we'll both watch season two together. So we've been doing that. So that's the show du jour. And yeah. All that being said, um, let me know what you guys think of this new setup. No hard feelings either way because I'm not like married to this new situation or anything. So if you guys prefer the way that I recorded the last vlog, the visuals, the audio, etc., let me know and I might go back to the old way. Um, if you preferred this, let me know as well. If you really don't notice a difference, then that's fine. Let me know that too, um, because I'm sure I'm gonna have my own feelings on it, but I would love as many objective responses or as many objective reactions as I can get so I can really make a proper decision. At the end of the day, you guys are the ones watching this. So whatever you like best, that's what I'm gonna do. So. I would love to know what you guys did this weekend. I'd love to know how you're planning to spend your week. Let me know all about it in the comments. And in the meantime, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope that you will please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute.
Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.